One of our thermospheric satellites malfunctioned over Afghanistan. So your proposal is what? We shut down all satellites. I don't need to remind all of you how many people died from catastrophic climate conditions. Make sure there's no further incidents. Geostorm is a, uh, a what-if story. You know, what if we wait too long to deal with extreme climate change? And in the, the version of this story, the uh, world has gotten together because it is facing eventual extinction and has poured all of their resources into creating a net of uh, satellites that control the weather around the entire planet. And this story follows this amazing machine that's designed to help mankind once it starts to go rogue. Are you going back up to space? I'm coming back. I promise. Have a safe trip, sir. Just don't touch anything. Main engine start. Whenever you spend time with Jerry Butler in a room, you become energized from the infectious uh, uh, testosterone and energy that comes off of this guy. He's so filled with life. He's, he's a brilliant guy. You know, he, he was a barrister. You know, I mean, he's, he's a very well-educated guy. He's an artist, but he's, he's, he's playful and he's fun and he's juvenile and he's wonderful. And his enthusiasm for wanting to play this part and how he saw the movie, it was really the first time I was in a room with someone who I felt, this guy sees the exact same movie I see in my head. And it became really exciting to get to make the picture with him. This is Mr. Jake Lawson. The Jake Lawson? You look much older than I would have thought. I, I mean, you, you look good. One of the first discussions about casting this movie that David Ellison and I had is we said, this is an issue that affects the whole world. We want to make a movie that can speak to the whole world. So we wanted to cast it with a real international cast. Uh, and, and, and not just, not just that uh, they had different accents, but that they somehow, uh, on a more spiritual level, really represented other parts of the world so that we could feel this world in one small microcosm. And we were so lucky to get uh, uh, Derbez, you know, who's a huge star in Latin America, or to get uh, uh, Daniel Wu from China. Uh, um, just, we were able to find people from so many different parts of the globe who represent different things in those countries. You know, I think, I think fans around the world will, will be able to, to, to have a sense of ownership to the film because it, it won't just be a product that came from Hollywood and is brought there. It really is something designed to be more global. Three, two, one. Come on, baby. It's gonna be a fun, wild, ride into a science fiction what if. What if this were to happen? What if you were in this situation? Um, again, I, I like my science fiction to be fun and I think this movie is, but at the same time it is about something. So I, th I, I think people will have a great ride, but I think they'll come away with something. You realize you're committing treason? treason. Oh yeah, I kidnapped the president. I've stolen state secrets. Yeah, anything I'm forgetting, honey? Honey.